Hey guys, Flame Drake here. I just wanted to go ahead and drop the usual opening chatter in favor of a quick disclaimer. The opening cutscene of this level has a sequence that pretty strongly resembles a sexual assault. It's not one, just to be clear. It's not a sexual assault, but it is still pretty gross. Uh, if you don't want to see that sort of thing, I completely understand. I've put a timestamp up in the corner for where to skip past, and I'll try to get YouTube annotations working, so you can just click on that. Uh, yeah, I swear there's nothing else even remotely like this in this game or Darkseid, and uh, yeah, you're really not missing much if you do skip it. Uh, that's all I have, and uh, thank you for watching. Raccoon City was a town under the thumb of Umbrella. The virus washed over the city like a tidal wave, and in its wake left a living hell filled with ungodly creatures. Umbrella, under the guise of helping the hapless citizen, sent in their private military, the UBCS Security Force. Jill Valentine, a member of STARS, finds herself still trapped in the nightmare she thought she left behind with the mansion incident. Okay? I'm fine. That's some good shooting. We've got to get out of here. A rescue chopper's on its way. Come with me. Alright, welcome to my least favorite level of the game. This is this is pretty huge. Yeah, uh The first thing you notice about this level is that the zombies take about twice as much damage as before, unless you get a headshot. Did they, like, upgrade their firmware or something? <laughs> I don't know, they just... I mean, it's it's later in, in Umbrella Chronicles, it makes sense that they take more... Uh, that they take more shots, but, I mean, it gets pretty ridiculous. No wonder. So you're pretty elite, then. And you are? I'm Carlos. Corporal I'm so happy Carlos, Carlos is here. Yeah, he... I mean, he doesn't do much. Oh yeah, I never showed Jill's animate, uh, counter animation before. And you will be seeing plenty of that. That's pretty awesome, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Tasing a zombie? Yep. That was also in the remake. Uh, one nice. of the counter items. So yeah, if you're not getting headshots and you're not using your special weapons right, uh, you're completely screwed. Like probably won't even get past this first uh, stretch of street. So, they described Raccoon City as a town under the thumb of Umbrella. A uh, yep, financially, basically. Am I the only one who's basically imagining, like, Redmond is to Microsoft, but with this weird pharmaceutical bioweapons corporation? I, I don't think uh, there are quite so many uh, labs underground in Redmond, but then again, I guess we wouldn't know. I'm just saying, well, no, that'd <laughs> probably be an Apple thing. They got clones of Steve Jobs kicking around somewhere. I suppose. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, uh, this, this level is... Uh, well, I was going to say it's the worst level at the start of this, but I kept thinking about it and I... I can sort of see why some people would like it. I mean, they're robots, but I can <laughs> understand there is an appeal. Just for the sheer 
raw appeal of shooting things, like, and doing it well and efficiently. Yeah. But, uh, I'm not really too into that. <laughs> I'm here for the story, damn it. Yeah. I mean, they're, they've got a whole bunch of explosives and stuff everywhere, uh, including cars. You can blow up the cars, but, uh... Nice. Overall, it's just zombie, 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 zombie. You know, coming right off that last Wesker level where everything was hunters, it's <laughs> at least a change. Yeah, that's true. Oh yeah, so, uh... You, you already see how many zombies there are. Uh, guess how many headshots you need to get an S-rank in this level. 50. 71. That's pretty crazed. I think I finished this one with about 50. Well, at least I was half right. <laughs> you... Well, I guess you wouldn't have cheated and looked, because then you would have seen it wasn't an S. No, I <laughs> I only saw that Carlos was in this and watched the opening, so... Yeah, Carlos, Carlos doesn't really do much in these games. Uh, he just sort of shows up and shoots pretty well. And Jill's like, yeah, you're on my team. Look, I'm not going to lie. The reason I remember is it isn't because he did something amazing. Well, he did do something amazing, but... <laughs> uh, what what does he do in the movies? Cause... He's basically kind of a like grunt schmuck who has a name. But he has what is probably one of the best death scenes in the entire series. Where they are taking gas tankers to assault an old umbrella lab to finally try and use it for safety. Okay. One of them flips over. He is surrounded. He is injured. He finds a joint that somebody had been hiding from him in the oh, no. mirror. And he basically lights it, smokes it, and then blows the truck and himself up. Okay, well... It's a pretty amazing scene. Can't tell if that's really pro-drugs or anti-drugs. <laughs> well, he does it on purpose, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Look what happens when you smoke dope, kids. Plus, you've got to remember, <laughs> the, the world of the movies, from what I can tell, is much more grim than this one. Oh yeah, they're... Uh... All plant life and most living things are dead. Yeah, I, what, I saw the first two, and I mean, I guess I technically saw the third one, but uh, I was really drunk, and I remember basically nothing except that I liked it better than the second one. Yeah, they started going crazy in the middle. It's, <laughs> it's pretty good. I will probably check those out before too long. Getting Resident Evil on the brain here. I would say it's absolutely worth it, but mostly because it's the kind of thing where I put it on with friends and we just all howl with laughter. <laughs> okay, so uh, what? one of the things that's really disappointing about this level, also I keep shooting cars that I think are going to explode and then I realize they don't, <laughs> uh, but uh, the this area is not actually in Resident Evil 3. You mean 2? Aren't we in 2? No, we're in three. Uh, oh. two, two is in Dark Side. Okay. Uh, but uh, basically, for this stretch of the game, what they did was they took the level maps from the Outbreak games mm -hmm. and just used those exactly. That's kind of cool, at least. It. I mean, it looks kind of crappy sometimes like this area is okay it's just when you get into some places that you can't really walk to an outbreak oh they start okay getting... they didn't touch it up much no they didn't do that at all and like most most of the end all, all of the zombies are from outbreak i don't really mind that so much because that game had pretty decent zombie variety yeah i'm not gonna lie i'm i'm liking the fact that it feels like a real city with all the variety beats the shit out of a bunch of scientists. It's just kind of a shame, because Resident Evil 3 has, honestly, a really good structure for this game, and they just ditched it entirely. Because, I don't know, I'm, I'm assuming budget reasons. 
Okay, this is a thing that I've been noticing in some of the shots and it's really weird to me. Why do some of the zombies' eyes leave light trails behind like they're, you know, some kind of fucking glow <laughs> sticks? I'm not really sure. Like, sometimes they glow in the dark and sometimes they don't. It, I don't think it's ever been very consistent. Just like, if, if, if they want the zombies to look scary. Should I just chalk this up to, I don't know, the whatever letter virus? Yeah, uh, this would be the T-Virus, though. The whole Raccoon City thing, uh, there is the G-Virus out there, but the actual outbreak was T-Virus. Gotcha, the TG-Virus. Yes, the TG-Virus. And, uh, yeah, the T-Virus was the original one. The G-Virus creates some crazy shit, but doesn't create giant fields of zombies everywhere. Yeah, there's, there's <laughs> eyes. I really don't know what causes that to happen or not. I, I've just started noticing it because it's only on the ones who move really quickly. So I didn't know if there was some, like, there are some subspecies of nightlight zombie. In this game, it might just be when they do the swiping animation at you. Maybe. Not that one, obviously, but... That was even a black zombie. We have that much diversity. She, she looks sullen. Well, I mean, this is her hometown, the place she oh, grew okay. up in and loves. I didn't know that, yeah. I'd be pretty pissed off. Uh, so, two paths. Uh, we're gonna go left. Because it's quicker. Uh, well, I didn't know for sure. Uh, because I actually, before I record... Uh, we're going to come back here later, but before mm. I recorded this, I don't think I'd ever actually gone right. Ha! Huh. And it turns out that the path on the left is about three minutes longer. Oh, wow. Hmm. Which is kind of a dirty trick when the game grades you on time. Yeah, that is pretty screwed up. The only way I can really reliably get through some of these sections is just uh shotgun basically just keep tr keep trying to get headshots and when they start rushing forward shotgun mm -hmm. oh wow that did nothing yeah that did absolutely nothing at all i'm so pissed off about that might as well have just used a grenade i completely forgot about the grenades for most of this level you're right it does seem to be swipe based okay mystery solved all right. Yeah, I don't know. It's just move forward, fight five or six zombies, move forward, five or six zombies, over and over and over and over, and it just really drags on. To be fair, this is basically what I've imagined the series played like for years, so <laughs> just with tank controls. And I accidentally blew up the car. It worked. <laughs> Did that say Zapatos? I'm not sure. Oh. Zapata beers. Z something beer. Zapata, I think it would be. Well, I guess we're not going to get beer. Yep. I guess we're not. Uh, oh, I guess we are going that way. And there were a lot of guys in that truck. Carlos, you did this wrong. Carlos. I don't know what those birds are there for. They don't actually attack you. It's just a fake Duh. out for hunters. Well, I guess they were bound to come back. They like beer too. Uh, Resident Evil 3 does have hunters in it. They do not look like this. Huh, so there's multiple varieties? Yeah. Basically none of the new enemies for Resident Evil 3 actually got m made here, except for one boss. Huh. And Resident Evil rule, if there are stairs between you and the zombies, they're gonna barf acid. Pretty much every time. 
You know, that makes sense from a design perspective. <laughs> yeah, especially in like the first couple games where they didn't really have much to work with. So what, where does it go from there? Like, what do you mean? Well, you said they didn't have much to work with in the first games. What what changed? Oh, ju just, I mean, like, the the level layouts and the oh, ways okay. you can move around them. I thought you meant creatures or something. Yeah, you just had slow guys, fast guys, <laughs> and acid guys. Like, especially in uh, the first few games, uh, you had to press a button to go up and down stairs. Oh my god, it was seriously Dragon Quest style? <laughs> uh... Don't remember that. I, I never played Dragon Quest, really. The original one, like, I I think they changed it for the U.S. release, but okay. you straight up had to use a separate command in the menu to talk to, look at, use stairs, open oh, shit, and they turned, they turned it all into the uh, one button does all for the U.S. Well, release. Yeah, I mean, if you're only ever going to do one thing at a time... Yeah. They also prettied it up for us, but never mind. This is the branching point. Mm -hmm. And, uh... This path has something I had completely forgotten was on this level. Oh. This Land is a mines. lot. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> what?! I was going to say, this is a lot less impressive than the truck careening at you, but never mind. <laughs> who mined the street? Uh, somebody who was really pissed off at the zombies. What are mines doing here? Yeah! One wrong step and it's the afterlife for us. <laughs> uh, you can shoot the mines or enemies sometimes walk on them. Uh, they don't hurt you. Oh my god, everything is just exploding right now. <laughs> <laughs> Holy and we crap. stand here and wait while I take take out the uh, the two zombies left over. These guys seem very bad at their job. I'm saying that like zombies have jobs. They kind of do. It's not a very complicated job, but it's still a job, damn it. I know that feeling. Oh yeah, so uh, the counterattacks, I'm not sure. It doesn't really come up often enough for me to be able to tell, but if you end up having to do multiples of them in a row, I think it might you might have to shake the stick for longer each time. Hmm. It's either that or my arm's getting tired out really quickly. It could be either. Because either way, it's still kind of a lot of waggling. So wasn't there one of these games that was farmed out and not done by Capcom? Like a light gun game? There have been a few different games. Also, those assholes just walked right past mine. Yeah, that, that was totally <laughs> BS. This, this whole screen is a fake out. Oh yeah, this is actually what I was talking about, about the backgrounds looking like shit. Whoa. Uh, well, not here, but... Scroll backwards and something. look. Yeah. Uh, no, you were saying something about like games being farmed out. There have been a, a bunch of weird little spin-off games that don't really amount to anything in the series. I'm, I mean, I'm. There's one that's uh, the light gun game on, game on a boat. That might be what you're talking about. Okay, I just remember somebody mentioning when I said I was doing a recording for this. Yeah, the are you doing the Kavia light gun game? And it's like. Wait, the people behind Drakengard and Deer did a light gun game in Resident uh, Evil? Yeah, there was there was an arcade one, which was basically just like a light gun version of Code Veronica. Huh. I don't know what that is yet, so... I'm gonna be honest, that also put me off trying this series for years, the fact that they started <laughs> going in weird naming schemes for a while. They only really did it for one of the main series games. Everything else has been the same. I just know that during a so many year period, it's like 
Maybe I'll try one of these. Oh, do I try Code Veronica, Gun Survivor? Um, the answer was Code Veronica, just for the record. <laughs> I think there was another one at the time that really confused me, but... Uh, let's see. There was Resident Evil Gaiden, that was... I think Zero might have also been around that time, and I was going, yeah. wait, so should I start with that, or...? Again, no, but I can understand the confusion. <laughs> yeah, and I just didn't. I think the only I think I may have played a little bit of a demo version of Resident Evil 4 at Comic Con. I died. <laughs> uh, you you said four? Yeah, there was a man with a chainsaw. Yeah, that uh, that you probably died. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, it was also the first time I ever tried a GameCube. Yeah, no, chainsaw guy was a little nuts. Yeah, he didn't strike me as a zombie. No, the, that game didn't have zombies. It had, uh... Instead of a virus, they went with parasites. Also, I was trying to see if I could get a, get their heads to explode with the uh, machine gun, and they didn't. Hmm. But no, uh, Resident Evil 4 had parasites, and so all the... All the... Uh, Ganados, I think they were called. They they could use tools and stuff. Oh. Well, that's interesting. And then ten minutes into the game, they send a near-invincible guy with a chainsaw after you. Yeah. It's like, hey, are you good enough to play this game? Let's find out. I wasn't. <laughs> Bust through what? The, I don't know. Crow hallway. <laughs> this is just giving me flashbacks to an instance I ran way too much in DCUO that had a hall like this. <laughs> is the boss of this level the Spectre? No, the boss of this level is not anything like the Spectre. Okay. Alright, not the same level. Disregard. <laughs> Man, there hasn't been enough zombies lately. I think we need more zombies. Holy God. <laughs> How many times has he said there's too many? Uh, there's been a few different varieties. Like, there's too many, there's no end to them. Yeah. I only took out one with that freaking car. And he didn't even stay down, actually. Jesus. Defective ass cars. <laughs> Who makes Raccoon City cars? Does Umbrella do cars? If you shoot them twice, they should explode a lot more than that. Yeah. In fact, what doesn't Umbrella work on? I'm just gonna, like, maybe it's coming from the movies where they do weird joke ads as a trailer every time, <laughs> but... Uh, it's, it's mostly just, uh, medicines and stuff, and, well, I mean, medicines and monsters. Okay. Are you with Umbrella? Yeah. We came all the way out here to save you civilians. But the mission went bad the minute we landed. Save us? It's Umbrella's fault that all of this happened in the first place. Hey, hey, easy, Chica. I'm just a hired gun. Grill me later. Come on! The spice must flow. Pretty much. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, that's blatant. Yeah. To, to be fair, it's not a worm. It's a millipede. Ah! What? Oh my god, that's... This is, this is the Grave Digger. It's pretty much the only boss in Resident Evil 3 other than uh, Nemesis. Oh. But you fight Nemesis a whole bunch of times, and he has like four or five different forms. Hey, that that fits, because I'm pretty sure it was the third Resident Evil movie where they ran into the Nemesis a lot. Nope, that was the second one. Was it the second one? Okay. Yeah. I mix up the middle <laughs> two. 
I gotta admit, though, there was just something fantastic about running down a building to kick the nemesis in the face. <laughs> that, I think that was when I was just like, fuck this movie, I'm done. I just sort of sat back sullenly for the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, there wasn't much rest of it at that point. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, this- I don't know, this is a really shitty boss, I think. It's basically just this over and over. This feels like something out of the House of the Dead, I won't lie. Yeah. Right down to the animations jerkily changing suddenly if you hit it enough. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it just, like, teleports to its side when it's dropping. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, uh, you fight, you fight this thing, uh, twice in, uh, three. First, uh, first time you run into it, and you can just sort of run past, and the second time you actually have to kill it, but, uh, I, I don't know, it... Doesn't seem too awful. It's really underwhelming here when the street gets destroyed, and then it's fine a minute later. Yeah, this might have worked better on another system. And then, then it launches up the same five chunks of gravel, every, or not gravel, uh, pavement every time. And then they just explode for some reason, like, I, I don't know. Oh yeah, that was new. Yep. Uh, you can do a shit ton of damage right there. The main reason I didn't was because there's an... There's one one more really stupid attack I wanted to wait for. Mm. I will give them credit, they are actually making it harder to hit those when they turn sideways, unlike just having a giant <laughs> invisible hitbox. Yeah, it's not just a, a cube that happens to have something in it. This attack. Alright. Ah! Ah! <laughs> That car didn't blow up at all. Nope. Uh, that's because I didn't shoot it enough. Oh. That one blew up without a fucking trace. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, don't know, <laughs> I don't know why I tried to use the pistol on the bus. Oh my god. But I had a first aid spray, so who cares? I absolutely didn't expect the bus. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, this this bastard speeds up. Yep, and now we're back to the same patterns as before. Aw, that I thought the last quarter of its health was just gonna be like much more frantic, and now this is kind of disappointing that it's gone back to the old pattern. Yep. Yeah, like like I said before, it's not really so much how much damage you do to it, just how long you've been fighting it. Hmm. Because you you can kill it before it throws cars. Oh, I figured. But why would you want to? That was pretty amazing, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. And it's down. So that's a millipede? Yeah, I... That's, that's what the wiki says anyway. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Sounds more badass than giant caterpillar. That's true. <laughs> yeah, 2148. What's a UBCS? Uh, it's Umbrella something something something. It's the squad Carlos is on. Okay. Uh, it's a squad of mercenaries that get sent in, and then, like, all of them die pretty much except Carlos. Umbrella biological cleanup squad? I don't know. That's something like that, actually. But yeah, and then the, then uh, after you beat the game, you unlock a mode called The Mercenaries, where you play as The Mercenaries. Well, that sounds kind of cool. Yeah, it's it's okay. Uh, anyway, next time, Raccoon's Destruction 2, we're going to another area that wasn't in Resident Evil 3. Hmm. It's new to you. <laughs> People who've played these games, it's all new to me. <laughs> <laughs>